Hello everyone, um, I have designed a new pitch estimator, you could call it a guitar tuner. It's only showing numerical numbers in hertz, that's what you see here on the screen. Pitch estimator plugin, that's a VST and uh, it is also compiled as an audio unit at the moment. I'll just demonstrate it first, later I'll explain some more. Here you can see the string, string 2, 3, 4, and string 5, and string 6, right? So when I tune the string you can see that it's very precise. And when I bend, it's also very precise. So this uh, is the level, the volume. So now there's no output. That's a simple level control. And this is um, actually the number of harmonics to use in the model, which I'll explain to you later. I will also show you where you can get the source code for this, such that you can learn how to design this for yourself, because it, this has taken me a lot of time to get into. So I wanted to show you, uh, maybe I can help you uh, get there easier. So first, I'll show you the environment for which I develop it in. Here's the plugin host, which I compiled from... Um, I compiled that uh, from uh, Juice. You can see here it says Juice plugin host. And this is where I put in a, a plugin, and here I have my plugin, so I can, I can also put in an audio unit plugin. And then uh, this is the debug environment. I can just have a new instance of that one also, which is not connected. So when I connect it here, you can see that then it will also do the pitch estimates. So whatever, that's the, the debugging environment, which I'll close now. It is compiled uh, from Juice, and the API is called Juice. This is what, you, uh, what I'll show you later. So first I'll just show you about a quick review of the code. So here I have the source and uh, the four main files, the class plugin processor, which does the processing loop. So that's a C++ class. And uh, the main processing, all these seem, in the beginning, all these seem very confusing, but it's actually very simple once you get into it. Here's the main processing uh, preparation, prepare to play, and here's the main processing loop called process block that's the method of the class and I have a, an instance called FFT here and I have an instant, instance which I call HS with is the harmonic summation you can see the FFT here and the harmonic summation here both have their own H library right yeah all this source code is uh, you can get it online and I'll show you the link afterwards so the processor and the editor. The editor is where the GUI is, so here all the sliders are set up. Uh, that is the knobs, rotary knobs, a slider for gain, and a slider for uh, changing the harmonics. These are add listener, such that they can, they're using a, a callback function, a listener function here, which listens for the slider value that changes. So the processor loop, we get access to the processor loop from the GUI here and then listens to the number of harmonics and then we, we get the value from the change slider put it into the processing loop which is over here and then we change some of these values in here with the slider in, in this case we actually change this value the number of harmonics from the slider which we put into the cost function here Okay. So that's a lot of code. The main thing is that we implement this. This is the harmonic summation algorithm for pitch estimating. Here is the pitch estimate. Omega hat is the pitch estimate. We maximize this summation function over L, which is the uh, number of harmonics used. So that is the parameter we can change now on the plugin. So X is the Fourier transform signal, which is evaluated at omega 
as a search grid. We try every Omega we can with all harmonics and then sum them up and where the max is where we get the pitch estimate, right? So that's actually very simple. Uh, if, if the signal is not perfect harmonic, like L times L as an integer, then as a string we actually can model the signal as this, which I have uh, done, but not in this implementation. This implementation is only for the harmonic summation. Now I'll just show you when we implement it in real life, in, for example, Ableton Live, which you may know, and we have an audio input in Ableton Live, here, as you can see here, and I'll just put my plugin on that one, and then it comes here. Okay, so now my video stalls. Yeah. My, my video and all these things I'm running is quite tough for my computer. But anyway, here is what you can do to set up the, the project. If you want to code it uh, from the beginning yourself, you can use Juice. I'll just close some of these things that are quite uh, heavy on my computer. Alright, here's the Juice web page. And actually, Juice uh, is free software cross-platform. It can it, it is what I've been using for developing this plugin. The audio plugin thing is what I use, as you can see here. Here's the web address, but it can be used for all of these things, if you like. And if you want to, for example, do an audio plugin, you just open. It'll show you what it is. It's the intro user, which you get from the web page. Once you open that, you get this one, and then you use this one for opening an audio plugin. For my case, it's Xcode. And then I call it Test Plugin. And that's actually it. Create. And then I say, I want to compile it as a VST, as a VS3, and as an audio unit, or an RTS or AX if you want to use Pro Tools. I put in some information here, and then do I want to have audio in? Do I want to have a synthesizer? Do I want to have MIDI in or MIDI out? No, I don't. I want to have audio. And if there's silence in, we have silence out. Okay, open an Xcode. Save a project and open an Xcode. Okay, if I open an Xcode now, it open Xcode. And then it will do. It will produce all the necessary files for starting the, the project inside test plugin source, where I have the, the four files here now. So this is the plugin processor. It has all the methods to override from the host. That's the way uh, it interfaces to, for example, Ableton Live. And it has the editor here. So we have a lot of things already. There was one tutorial. Uh, a demo session. You can you can use the introducer to demo things, so it's actually quite easy to get it going. But I will share all of my source code right here at my GitHub. I've just uploaded it. Pitch estimator plugin here. Uh, you can download this. You can clone it all and get it on your computer and get it running in your Xcode if you have a Mac. If you do not have a Mac, I have actually. Inside here, you can actually download an installation file. You can see the here, the zip here. You can get this link. I'll just copy this link and show you. Now I download the installation here. And I can copy the link address here, put it here for you, so you can see. Then when I download this, it will actually I've made an installation file such that you can install install it on your the VST and the audio units on your own computer by double clicking what you download here. Then you get this. You just click continue, 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 
continue and install. If you do so, you can help me debug my, my plugin and then get back to me if you like. It's, this is actually my first C++ plugin ever. So now it's installed and then once you have installed it, you can open for example Ableton or I would like someone to check it out in um, what's it called? Logic perhaps as an audio unit. Ableton is quite hard for my system but uh, I hope I'll manage with the quick time running. This is the last thing I just would like to show you here. So I have Ableton Live here. I put in my guitar. And then I put on my VST plugin. There. And then I end the video while I play the music. You can notice if we turn this up, it will get octave errors. Now it's lower. If I turn it down here, it will get higher as the correct one. It's actually why I built this plugin. It was to test this parameter. But anyway, I want to evolve this and expand it into inharmonicity. And then I and I have shown in MATLAB that I can estimate string and fret on the guitar just by doing this uh, inharmonicity estimator that I showed you before. So that's what I'll do. Okay, I hope uh, this will be a good help for you and uh, make it easy for you to develop uh, a plugin. Just get back to me for any questions because I would like also people around the world to cooperate with. Yeah, so uh, thank you. That was it. And I'll see you again. Goodbye.